you know, I had a chance to look at all the facilities, and I can't tell you how impressed I am. And obviously, you see the passion of the fan base when you have a chance to go to all these facilities and to come to the Carrier Dome. We talked about yesterday what a special place this is. It's, it's a really neat place, and, and again, we're so excited to be here and, and being at Syracuse. It's going to be a great opportunity. Any questions for Mark today? Um, Mark, I know. Um, you know, obviously you've talked about this being a special place. They've also talked about putting some investments in and sprucing it up and fixing it. Um, are there one or two things here that, you know, you, you would do or that you would want, whether it's luxury boxes or, or you know, whatever? Well, you know, this is the second time I've been in this building when I was here a few years ago for the, uh, for the regional. So I, I want to take it in and absorb it first before I make any, you know, suggestions on, on things I want to do. You know, as I talked about yesterday, this place has so much history and tradition. And, uh, and again, you know, our goal is to get recruits to say yes to Syracuse and anything we can do to enhance it. Uh, is a big plus for all of us from that standpoint. So, I mean, again, it's just awesome to walk in here and see it. It's very overwhelming in a sense, overwhelming, but very exciting. What have the last 24 hours been like for you? Where did you get a chance to, to go or visit in the area or community when you're here? Uh, you know, I've been around campus, obviously, uh, quite a bit. have not slept much. Uh, the, the sleep will be nice when I get some sleep. Uh, from, uh, but, it, again, you know, been spent a lot of time with, uh, with people on campus. Uh, and, and walking around meeting different constituencies. Had breakfast this morning, obviously. Uh, Pete and Sue were kind enough to carve out some time to give me a tour of the facilities, which was awesome to see that with my family. And obviously you can tell my kids are on cloud night right now shooting baskets down there on the, on the court. But uh, it's been a busy 24 hours. It's been, a, it's been a great 24 hours. It really solidifies our decision that we made the right choice to come here. You know, I'm a, I'm a big believer in fit, and this feels like a good fit for me and my family, so it feels really good. Have you dined out anywhere, either in the last couple of days or when you're here for your interview? Or... Uh, we did on... Um, my days are, today's Tuesday. We did on uh, Sunday night. Uh, we went and ate downtown at a nice restaurant with a friend of mine that came into town with my family. But uh, other than that, they've been kind of hustling me to different meetings from that standpoint. So we look forward to kind of exploring Syracuse a little bit more and, and plan to do that over the next couple of days. Uh, we'll be here until Friday morning when we fly back to, uh, to Boise to start the transition out here to, to central New York. Where'd you, where'd you go? Um, my wife, where'd we go for dinner on Sunday night? <laughs> Uh, uh, possibilities. Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah, good po yeah <laughs> possibilities. So, yeah. What'd you get? Oh, my gosh. Oh, I got the, uh, I eat like a 12-year-old. Four cheese ravioli. So, <laughs> I me and the kids had the same meal, as a matter of fact. So. Any yeah. thoughts on the uh, practice facility? I know you toured that today, the new football one. Yeah, phenomenal. You know, it, it's, uh, you know, when I, I got to Boise State, we had a, a, a practice facility that was in place, and, and it's an awesome facility back there. And then you walk into this, I mean, you can tell Pete and his guys did a phenomenal job putting that together. And, and you know, obviously, you know, we talk about the wow factor. You bring a young man into that facility or a young woman, they have a chance to look at a facility like that. That gets their attention. And, and so I was very impressed with it. Mark, I think some people are wondering if you talk about the tradition of the Carrier Dome, obviously, and everybody knows Syracuse because of that. But some people are wondering if this is just such a dated facility that there could be a day that there is no more Carrier Dome. Is that a possibility? You know, to be honest with you, I haven't given much thought to that. You know, it's, uh, again, you know, being here now a few days, you're, you're just trying to take it all in from that, from from there. So I haven't given much thought to that. But, but again, as I talked about yesterday, you know, if you grow up in Cal's athletics as a fan of it, you know what the Carrier Dome is and you know what it represents. And, and you know, I want to make sure we take time to enjoy that and then we'll, we'll make decisions down the road.